Hello everyone, and welcome to the Rewind Review. This is 8756. This is 8566, a new Anuva, released by Lego in 2002. Well, everyone, it's Retroaction, and this is a Bionicle Rewind Review. Well, I have had, I had used that name before, but I never released those videos. I did do a Bionicle Rewind Review back in 2019, but there we go. And they don't exist anymore, those videos. But anyway, so yeah, we're starting here with the Toa Nuva. Now, I probably should have started with the Bro Var, because this is 8566. I have, and they're 8560 to 85655. 8565, 8565, yeah, something like that. Uh, but they're upstairs, and they have their boxes and instructions in, but really, if I did this in order, which is the plan, uh, I think, I should have done them first, but never mind. I might add them. I might put that video up first and do this one afterwards. But I'm recording this one before, so there we go. Anyway, all right, so this, of course, is one of the main tower. Of course, the Toa Nuva are the main tower team. Of course, they started out as the Toa Mata when they landed up, when they arrived in the island of Matanui in the canisters. Of which, there it is, there's the canister, but this is different from the canisters they arrived in. It's mainly the same shape, and of course, after their battle with the Bowok Queens, they fell into Protodermis, and they got transformed into the Toa Nuva, which is what we have here. Right, so here's the canister, it's pretty cool, we've got Bionicle there, I love this like effect they used to do in the logo. We just lost the canister. Um, anyway, we've got a new Nuva, we've got the Nuva symbol, Lego 8566, we've got the dual function weapons, pretty cool picture, Unity Duke Destiny, we've got the Bionicle logo, the three virtues, uh, Bionicle.com. You can see it opens up like so. Didn't cover any instructions, but it's quite a nice canister. It's in good condition, and I don't want to drop it again. So let's put it down there. Uh, and here is the figure. So this is a new Anuva. Now his weapons are the Quake Breakers, and they just came out of his hand, so that's handy. Yeah. Anyway, so there they are. They're quite nice piece. Quite big. And of course, being he is a Toa Nuva, he has got now he's got the upgraded Nuva armor. So here's the new armor in silver, which looks quite nice. We'd see this piece get used a lot later, a lot later on, like Makuta, etc. Uh, we have the Picari Nuva, which is his mask, and under his mask we have the green eyes, dark green eye stock with the matter head. So here's the Picari Nuva. It is a lot bigger than today's, um, you know, the G2 masks and the later masks, and it has a connection with a stud instead of an axle, which, is, which would be more common later on. Uh, yep, it doesn't really resemble the original Bacari that Anuva had. So that's one form of the Toa Nuva. The, the masks don't look as good as the original and they're very organic looking for some reason. Anyway, so we've got the Nuva armor, which is three new pieces. We've got the chest piece there and the shoulder armor. That's quite cool. Now his color scheme is Black and grey, dark grey, it's quite cool with a bit of silver, a lot of silver actually, not as much as the Mystique later on, because the, the Toa Nuva would remain like this until they got the adaptive armour in 2008, you know, it became the fan token Mystique, and this guy was a Mystique, so, and he got a lot taller, of which, uh, trying to keep his original Trying to keep his appearance consistent, he is more of a hunchback here. Whereas in 2008, they made him just as tall as the others. But that's just a bit of story information. Anyway, just how he, how he changed his evolution. Well, yeah, it's quite controversial. There we go. Anyway, right, so, yeah, he's got dark green eyes. Later, they'll get rid of that as well. I do like the Mystique, though, but not just Tahu, I think. Anyway, I don't have any of those, so we won't be within them. Right, so yeah, his Quake Breakers are quite nice weapons, quite cool. Now, his build, he's got slides of feet at the bottom there, connected with to the Nuva limb. This is a new piece with the Toa Nuva. In dark grey, the old grey, uh, the old grey colour. I don't think it's actually dark grey, I think it's just, just the old grey colour. The old dark grey. Uh, we have the hand connector piece, which is connected to a slicer torso, which connects the gear function. We've got the matter head piece connected with a few technic pieces. We've got another hand piece with the Nuva armor on there. You've got the bow rock limb, with the things they defeated, and you have another hand piece. So that's the that's the build. It's quite good. Nice use of the slicer feet, 
I've got the size of feet pieces. Now these would come back to later. Now this piece you can take out. It just seizes up the gear function, which we've now freed up. As you can see, works quite well. Well, look, all the all the original Bionicle canister sets came with a gear had a gear function up until 2005 with the Total Dica. After that, they stopped it. The issue being, you can't position the arms until you put this piece back in. But once you've done so, it will allow you to move the arms. So let's just put that in. No, the arms don't have much articulation. There we go. And talking of the articulation, you have two you have two points in the arms on uh, the top of that one. Of the, Top the arm and one of the hand. His neck just does this. It can't move. It can't turn from side to side. How you'd want it to. Instead, it just wobbles around because of the way it's connected. But it has got that hunchback appearance, so that's good. Now, the leg you've got an ankle joint and the joint in the top of the leg, and that is it for a new maneuver. Pretty cool. But he has got one more feature, which is his dual function weapons. They have a dual functionality, which we're just going to take the quake breakers off, and they will now serve another purpose because we come to the bottom here where the slides of feet are. I'm just going to pull these axles back, and you can see we're going to connect these parts in like this. This is the cool part of the turnover, though this one is not the best one, but it's quite cool still. Let's just connect that up like that, line up the holes, and push this through. There we go. Do that on both sides. So we take the quake breakers, which are quite nice weapons. They're quite big as well. And they definitely look quite uh, powerful. Slide this bit through. I completely missed it. Just do this. So I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Take this piece. Slides to slides through like so, and you now have his all terrain treads or all terrain tracks, or something like that, is what they call it on Lego.com. And something's gone wrong with the gear function, so let's just do that again. Right, the arm is not straight. There you go. So now you have his all terrain treads, which is as shown on the box, I mean, on the and the canister, shown on the canister, it can like dig through and make his way through caves and stuff. So he can dig through earth, make, make tunnels basically. Uh, it looks kind of cool, not as cool as Tahu, which I think has probably the coolest of the Toanuva's weapons, which I don't have yet. I would like to get Tahu again, though his mask does not resemble the Howl as well as it should, but it's all right. That's definitely the best looking of these ones. Uh, this guy has got some cool weapons, but well, it's not the best functionality in the world. It does look kind of strange, but it, it works. It looks good, sort of. It's a bit hard to, uh, to pose like this, but yeah, you can probably imagine him digging through, making you know, making his way through caves and stuff. Anyway, this has been Retroaction with the Bionicle Rewind Review with 8566. A new Anuva, on which I completely forgot to mention that we have the Nuva symbol on there, which they brought back for Generation 2 and it served a bit more of a purpose, being that it was actually the Toa's name, whereas in the original story it was just something to do with the Nuva Cube, which they, when they got their powers stolen by the new robot Carl, so that's all it served there, but it didn't have much of a presence in the story, but in G2 it actually ended up being their names, the written form of their name. So that's kind of cool. And then they come, and then they axed uh, Generation, and the camp, Generation Two got cancelled after that. So not long after, so didn't really get to see it be used all that much in the end. Just like the original version of it. By the way, so yeah, the new the new symbols have come back, which is quite cool. And they did originate with these guys. But that is it for the Toa Nuva for now. Uh, until I get more, and I'll definitely be reviewing the rest. I do like the Toa Nuva. Then, oh, of course, the main Toa team. In both, I don't know with the characters in both G1 and G2, uh, Bionicle and Bionicle Generation 2, yeah. Both generations, and this has been the main, 
the main heroes and the main characters of the story. Right, so yep, this has been Retroaction with a new Anuva. Pretty cool figure, looks good. The mask isn't my favourite, but overall it's a nice figure. And the Toy Anuva are classic and iconic. So there we have it. Good figure, definitely pick it up if you can. Um, definitely would like to get more of the Toy Anuva. Anyway, it's been Retroaction with 8566, a new Anuva from 2002. I'll be back with either the Barak Var or the Barakshi, the Gurak. This is the only one I've got out of them because they're clone sets and I don't need all those. Uh, yep, I'll see you all next time. This has been Retroaction. Goodbye, I'm not going to be one of you. Goodbye for now.